This story should really put a smile on your face tonight. It was a big night for some little ones in Boston with big brothers, big sisters celebrating at MGM Music Hall for their largest annual fundraiser. I'm Malcolm Johnson joins us live right now. And Malcolm, you were there. How was the event? Did you have fun? It was a great event. It was really cool to see so many people who really care about this important issue, mentorship to young people out there who need it, who are lacking certain role figures in their life. You know, and this was an opportunity to celebrate the importance of mentorship together. Hey, big night. How y'all doing? A big night for big brothers, big sisters, as they celebrated at MGM Music Hall. And to come together a night like this on a February, everyone's cold, everyone wants to stay in. To come out a night like this, celebrate our 75th anniversary of the agency, the 25th of this event. The nonprofit's largest annual fundraiser raises funds that support the agency. And all the research shows one person in someone's life, that may be the only thing it needs. Showing up for someone might be the only thing it needs for that kid to take off and, 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 and fulfill his potential, her potential. Mark O'Donnell, the president and CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Eastern Massachusetts, tells me the need for mentors has increased after COVID. The resources are scarce or overcommitted. Parents are looking everywhere. I mean, everything costs more. Housing's hard. And sometimes it's hard to pay attention to that one, two, or three kids in your house. Six kids are in Sheila White's house. Her grandchildren and their six volunteer mentors help shape their lives. Sheila was honored with the James Pallotta Award. You are an integral part of why our program exists. Thank you for calling on us, and thank you for trusting us, and thank you for all you do for your family. For every thousand kids that we serve, 3,000 signed up. So we're playing catch up, that's what tonight's about. Now, this is really one of those cool community-wide events, and they are still inside of this event hall partying, and they'll be there for some time tonight. You know, with all of the kids that are on the wait list, Darren, there is really a push for mentors to sign up, and I'm told they are especially looking for men to sign up. We're live tonight reporting in Fenway. I'm Malcolm Johnson, NBC10 Boston. All right, what a great event. Thank you, Malcolm.